Y'all feeling good? Yeah. Back ladies. So, whew, God has really mm, downloaded so much in me. And I just want to make sure that I don't miss a thing. I'm going to jump straight into it, right? The me message that God gave me for tonight is baggage check. Preparing for takeoff. Okay. I love it. That's why I needed you on the front row. Baggage check. Preparing for takeoff. So listen, I am one of those girls that overpacks all the time. Am I alone? And sometimes it causes me to run late when I'm on my way to my flight. And I was just thinking about like, God, help me understand this whole concept of baggage and releasing and taking off. And so God had me study the whole concept of planes and aviation and taking flights. So I'm gonna read a little bit to you and then I'm gonna start preaching a little bit and then we're gonna release a whole lot, all right? So two of the most common reasons people miss their flight is traffic and poor packing. I ain't even got started yet. Two of the most common reasons people miss their flight is traffic and poor packing. So I was just really, I'm like, okay, God, give me more. You got to give me more. As my husband knows, I'm like, babe, I feel like he's taking me all over the place. I don't know where I'm going with this. So I was thinking about when I go to the airport, and I'm like, why I can't take everything I want to take with me when I want to take it? Why? Like, why is there a weight limit on your baggage? Why is it when I get there, they got a weight? You don't need to know what exactly. Well, you need to know how much is in my bag. Just take off. Operating above the maximum weight limitation compromises the structural integrity of an aircraft. The heavier the aircraft, the longer the runway needs to be for the aircraft to get up, to speed, to take off. The heavier the aircraft, the longer it takes for the aircraft to get up to speed to take off. If the aircraft is too heavy, then it will not take off at all. Weight drives how much fuel the plane needs for a flight. That is why you will see extra cargo or passengers offloading on an aircraft. So the aircraft can carry sufficient fuel or power. Y'all with me? So a lot of you are in a season where you see God taking you somewhere, you've seen the destination, you've been saving it on your Pinterest board, I wanna go on this trip, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna hang out with my friends, I got the outfits and all of that. You have the destination in mind, you have the business in mind, you have the dream in mind, but for whatever reason, you can't take off. You know exactly where God is trying to take you. Some of y'all have been in a season where you're like, God, why is it that it's taken me so long for me to get where you have shown me I was going to go? Good. And God says you're too heavy. So you cannot get up to speed you know this whole concept of, oh, all, all, all things on God's perfect timing, God is, mm -mm. This is not about timing, this is about baggage. You are too heavy. 
and you cannot take off and take flight and get to where I'm trying to get you to because you got too much baggage. I'm like, okay, God. And so I'm thinking about the aircraft, and it says the heavier the aircraft, the more fuel it takes. In other words, the heavier the baggage, the more power it drains. And so you got up and you got excited and you were powerful and you're like, God gave me this great idea. I can't wait to do it. God gave me this amazing business. I can't wait to launch it. God showed me my husband. I can't wait to marry him. take off. For whatever reason, it just ain't doing what it's supposed to do. So, tonight, I want you all to imagine that you're on a journey, right? We're going to go to, we're at an airport. This is our airport terminal. Everybody here? I'm going to be like a flight attendant or something like that. And I'm going to have some more flight attendants come up later. But I want you to think about that place where God is trying to take you. The destination, the destiny that is already over your life. And as I start to go through this message and unpack my own baggage, I'm gonna be vulnerable in front of y'all. I want y'all to imagine being up there, getting ready to check in for your flight. And then she says, it's over the weight limit. Now you have to go in that bag and start taking stuff out. But here's the thing, you can't repurpose it. You can't put it in your carry-on. You can't put it in your purse. You have to actually take the stuff out and leave it right where you are. So everybody there with me? So we're gonna go to the book of Exodus chapter 16, verses 16 through 20. So remember, I want y'all to start thinking. I'm going to start unpacking my bags. Oh, this one is heavy. Lord, what's in there? Okay. I'm going to start unpacking my bags, but this is what the Lord commanded. Everyone is to gather as much as they need. Take an armor for each person you have in your tent. The Israelites did as they were told. Some gathered much, some little. And when they measured it by by the armor, the one who gathered much did not have too much. And the one who gathered little did did not not have have too too little. little. Everyone had gathered just as much as they needed. Then Moses said to them, no one is to keep any of it until morning. However, some of them paid no attention to Moses. They kept part of it until morning, but it was full of maggots and began to smell. So Moses was angry with them. So I'll give you a little background. At this point, the children of Israel are in a season of exodus. Exodus means to depart. It's a mass departure of people. It's a mass departure of people. This is why you are all in this room. This is not just a you story, this is a we story. This is a mass departure of people, of women, that's getting getting ready to break away from some bondage in their life. That's getting ready to launch into their new. It's a mass departure. It's not just about me. I know I changed my outfit, so I probably look like I'm a star of the show, but it ain't me. This ain't about me. This is about us. This is an exodus season. God is releasing us from something into something else. But what he says is, take only what you need. Those who had little did not have 
too little. Those who had much did not have too much. But disobedience kicked in and they started gathering more because they didn't trust that God was going to give them what they needed the next day. What they gathered was enough for the day. But they started gathering more for tomorrow. Y'all with me? What they gathered was enough for today. But they started gathering more because they didn't trust God for tomorrow. And so now they have baggage. Baggage is anything good or bad that does not complement where you are going. Baggage is anything good or bad that does not complement where you are going. And so God sent them food. He sent them manna and they're eating it and it's good because it came from God. But that was all they needed. And sometimes we pervert even the good things out of fear, out of lack of trust, out of insecurity, out of greed. Even the good things that God puts in your life can become baggage. Y'all with me? All right, let me keep going. So this message is actually very personal to me because my grandmother was a hoarder. We had a fridge on the porch. We had two fridges in the kitchen. We had a whole closet of bread. So much bread that the bread had bread and the bread started making bread. We had at least 30 to 40 dogs. It started with two. Two made four, four made eight. A made 16, and you just keep going, right? Starts off as a good thing. Toys. Started off with a couple of toys. My grandmother used to volunteer at the center. They would send her home with stuff. Toys, good toys. We like playing with toys. 10 toys, 20 toys, don't touch them toys. Those my toys for the other kids that's gonna come over later. So now we got toys on the porch that never got touched because she was saving them for some kids we never met. My grandmother was a hoarder. And when she got put out of her house, she was very attached to the one dog she had left. And she had all of these bags surrounding her. You know how you see people on the bus stop and they have all of these bags and you're like, why, where's their family? My granny was one of those people. And the reason why she was on the streets is because she wouldn't get rid of her bags. So I kept trying to put her in hotel room after hotel room. We tried to get her to come to the house. My mom was like, Mom, you can come to the house, but you got to get rid of the dog because the dog was sick. The dog had rabies, but she wouldn't let the dog go. So we got bags, and we got a dog that she won't let go, and we're calling, calling the police, and we're like, can't you do something? Can't you see that this is not normal for her to be sitting out on the side of the street with all these bags and a crazy dog. Police go out and they talk to her. They said, your grandmother is in her right mind. And she is making her own choice and there's literally nothing we can do about it. I said, I would never be like that. How can somebody just hold on to so much stuff like that? to the point to where they won't even get their breakthrough? How could somebody just let all this stuff hold them up to the point to where they can't even step into their next season or even be connected to family and people that love them? How can you let so much stuff block all the people out of your life that really want to be there for you? And God said, yeah, Ebony, how could you do that? How could you do that? See, my baggage just looked a little different. It's a little bit more designer. Come on. Come on. See, some of y'all, y'all's baggage 
It's draped in Chanel and Gucci and Louis so it don't look like baggage even though it's been sitting on your shelf for 10 years. It looks like red bottoms that you never gonna wear again, but you're keeping them because you want people to know that you can afford red bottoms. It looks like driving a car that your family can't even fit in, but it's designer, so you want to keep flaunting even though you got four kids and you need to jump in a mom van. Baggage looks very different, but we find a way to dress it up. Y'all with me? All right.